Hello viewers, hello listeners, hello everyone. Thank you once again for joining me on Team Out TV. Please don't forget to subscribe if you are coming here for the first time. If you are regular, just do the usual. Please like and comment and also share our video so that others may well see what we do here. Because what we do is we give you current affairs in real time. So in news that is just reaching us, we learn that the Zimbabwe exemption permits have been extended by another six months by the South African government for an additional six months. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's six months now. Of course, it was about to be to expire this june and the timing of the june expiry date was questioned by a lot of analysts who were suggesting that this means the south african government is saying to the zimbabweans go back home and vote go back and vote go back and probably and i'm not going to you know so that you won't need this payment so that you won't overcrowd this country so that you will be you you will make your nation better and you won't even i think of leaving your nation but now they have extended this this they said is to give time for those who are applying for an alternative visa so that it might be considered and they have received overwhelming numbers of those who are applying for the fee this is in a continuation of the uh, previous extension that was set to expire at the end of this month and the extension will benefit over 180,000 zimbabweans who now have more time to switch to regular viewers so those numbers caused them to think of extending uh, the period to december 31 2023 so i just say to my fellow zimbabweans in south africa uh, please just use this opportunity to sort out your papers but uh, at the same time remember that you have to come back home you have to come and vote for the government that you want that is for the elections that are due this coming august and here we've got a video from newsroom africa they were explaining how this issue and what it means uh, for the zimbabweans that are in south africa let us just hear what they were saying concerning this issue of applications they say for the controversial zimbabwe exemption permit has been extended for a further six months by the home affairs minister aaron Mutoledi. this is to allow the department to process increased applications they say for waiver applications let's get some reaction now and we're joined by the executive director of the asylum seekers refugee and migrant coalition muchangeti watcher who talks to us from harare in zimbabwe this morning mr watcher thank you very much for your time let's firstly get your reaction to this extension we'll get to the nitty greeters in a moment Good morning um thanks so much for the opportunity to speak to you uh... we know that there is about two hundred thousand close to two hundred thousand of these ZEP holders, what is the message to them, particularly those in their permits? You will find that it has expired. What is the message now, particularly from the South African authorities' side? The message, I believe, is that they must, uh, as quickly as possible, uh, attempt to migrate to uh, the mainstream visas within the immigration act, um, as well as apply for the the waivers uh, that the uh, department has uh, um, permitted them to do uh, as soon as possible. Uh, but unfortunately, like, as I keep reiterating, they still live in this uh, constant uncertainty of what the future holds for them. So this is the thought in everyone's mind that these six months extensions will leave everyone under uncertain circumstances to say when will this end no in kuchas away but we just urge them to utilize the time and sort out their papers probably we know for now that coming back home is not an option so let them just sort out their papers then and we hope that the south african government will extend yes we have waited. Anukoni kanyemfaru, jinuwe ni onarilo matifu.